part of your girlfriends and your clothing That little bitty range, I heard that She wanna go and party She wanna go and party Nigga, don't approach your with that Welcome back to another video guys. Today's episode is going to be a bit different. It's supposed to be a match day today, but yesterday we got told if we were in the squad, you get added to a group chat. I wasn't added to the group chat, so I wasn't in the squad for today's game. So in today's episode, we're going to be going through what I do when I'm not selected for the game today. Stay tuned, keep watching the video and you'll see what I do. I have actually got much for breakfast today, so I'm just making these rice cake snacks before I go to training and I've got some peanut butter jam. And these energy things, they're like goji berries, cherries, uh, dried raisins and stuff like that. So I'm just going to chuck them on top with some honey as well. And it's going to be my little snack. Yeah, they are just four quick rice cakes. Just a little snack, peanut butter, jam, honey, some of these goji berry mix, and that's it. I'm going to eat these up, then head off to the gym on my bike. I've also got my vitamins, omega-3 fish oils magnesium and a multivitamin. So I'll take these as well with my little snack before training. Did I mean I write poems in these songs dedicated to you win? Join the move for empathy and blood in my pen. Better yet with your friends and I've got my bike out ready to go now. So I've got a beanie on because when I'm biking my hair just goes frizzy. So I need that on to keep it safe. But yeah, go to bike to the gym now. I'll see you guys there. I'm the, the gym. Um, about to do one kilometer intervals on the treadmill. Get a run in, then we're gonna do some core work. After I do the gym work though, we're gonna be heading to the pitch, just have some fun really. Cause just a bit of a kick about, a bit of shooting, a bit of pass off the wall, get it, shoot, see ya. Like Pablo, chat trees with the Draco. Draco, on and off got Diego. Diego, say Ash to the Wego. We'll be in rapping Kilo. <sighs> just finished up my one kilometer intervals. I did seven kilometers. At 80, between 80 and 19 kilometers an hour. It's a killer that one. Um, gonna do my, a bit of core work now. I'll make sure I film that. I couldn't film the, the runs because obviously there was too many people around. I couldn't place my camera anywhere, but I'll film this core workout now following my runs. I would like to get to know Straight into the session, we just started with some quick feet movement and then moved on to a bit of passing against the wall.
can see with my passing here, when I'm passing, I make sure I'm checking my shoulder when I'm receiving the ball. This is to make sure when you're checking your shoulder, you see if another man's coming to defend you, tackle the ball. So it's just great awareness when you're actually on the field with other players. If they're defending you and trying to tackle you, you know where they're coming from and you know where you're going to pass to next. I also do this when I move into the shooting as well. So when I move into the shooting, I'll make sure I'm checking my shoulder before I receive the ball and then take a shot. Finished the like 45 minutes an hour at the Astro just up here. Walking back over to the gym to go in the sauna now. So gonna have a relax in the sauna, then bike home. I got the sauna behind me. I've also got the steam room. So I might actually do 15 minutes in here and then five minutes in the steam room. I'm gonna see how I feel. I see you guys once I get out. <laughs> finished up got my bike behind me uh, I did the sauna for 15 minutes and steam room for five minutes the sauna flew by because I was actually doing meditation I do meditation every night just before I go to bed for 20 minutes meditation in the sauna just helps to clear my mind it's just a great technique to use in any situation you just focus on your breath in and out and it's just a great technique I find it so helpful in my everyday life so that's why I use it Back home, haven't got a lot for lunch, so I'm just gonna make, I've just got a bit of chicken and some veg, so I've just got chicken, veg, and there's some couscous as well, but that's about it, so probably have that. And So I got my chicken all diced up here, got some couscous, which I prepared the other day, I, it was from my other meal, broccoli and some carrots, gonna chuck them more in the pan, give it a bit of a stir fry. And that's probably gonna be it, because I don't actually have anything else, or I might, I might add a wrap in, I'm gonna see, because, I'm gonna see if we have any. We're quite low on foods. I gotta go help my mum do some food dropping in a bit. So I actually forgot I had chickpeas and some kidney beans. They're covered, so I've just mixed these up and washed them. So they're gonna be nice with some sweet chili sauce on top as well. So that's just some extra protein. So here's the spread. Got some chicken with some broccoli and carrots in there, hummus, bit of couscous, and a chickpea salad with uh, kidney beans and sweet chili sauce as well. Here's my final meal, what, everything on my plate. I also had some pumpkin in the oven, so I put that on as well. Lunch has been smashed, that was delicious, so high in protein, good delicious carbs as well with the couscous and the sweet chili sauce just tops everything off. I'm now relaxing. It's the 50th minute, so I'm probably gonna watch the rest of this game. It's just, it's Man United versus Arsenal. So it looks, looks like it's going to be a good game. I've only watched for two minutes. Oh, any chance? Oh. So, going to watch this game and just relax for a minute. I'm currently outside, got my yoga mat and my foam roller. I'm going to do some yoga for 20 minutes and then a bit of foam rolling. So, you guys can watch that now. done my yoga as you've seen on that time lapse i'm about to go out to take the dogs for a walk with my mum and i quickly wanted to say that it's not all about training all the time being in the gym all the time doing your recovery all the time you've got to have downtime where you're spending time with your family reading a book or doing something where you take your mind off the game where i'm going with a walk with my mum now 
I'm taking my mind off the game, but then I'm also spending time with my family. Because if you don't spend time with your family in life, you're not making any special moments. You're not doing anything special with your family that you can think back on in the future. If you're playing football all the time, you're never gonna have these memories of spending time with your family and it's not gonna be good. So make sure you guys do spend time with your family. Even if you train three times a day, make sure you still find that time to spend time with your family and enjoy life. Back off the walk, um, about to get in the shower, but once I get out, I'm gonna read this on my Norman Tech. This book for this week is The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. I think our generation, well, my generation, thinks too much about what other people think. We need to take a step back, look at ourselves and what our values are, because if we don't value ourselves and what we are, what we've become and where we've got to today, then no one is gonna value that because if you don't value yourself, then no one else can do it for you. We shouldn't be worried about what other people think of how we're dressed, what we look like, what our lifestyle is, what house we're living in. We should be focused on bettering ourselves because we want to better ourselves, not bettering ourselves because we want to prove to someone else that we are amazing. You don't need to worry about other people looking at you and looking from an outside perspective at you on how you live your life. If you live your life how you want to, then that's all that matters. If you're happy, that's all that matters. I also bought this book at the charity shop, which is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It was only three pounds, so this book's actually gonna be a really good read for such a cheap price. There's no point in buying brand new books because a book is a book. You, it's the same information in a used or an old one, so there's still great information inside of it. Out the shower now, about to call my normal tech compression gear do some recovery and then we're going to be resting for the rest of the night once we've finished that and done my reading we gonna be relaxing do my diary my to-do list finish that all off and then just relax the rest of the night someone did however comment on one of my other videos saying we don't all have the compression gear the normal tech and i totally understand that and this is why i show you other recovery ways like such as what i did before just my yoga stretching um you could do foam rolling as well and they're just like, even putting your legs up the wall, just getting the blood flowing. They're just simple recovery techniques that you can use. And I think the main one to use is probably stretching yoga. It's free, you don't have to go anywhere. You can literally do it in your bedroom, just on the floor, stretching. It's the best recovery technique for your muscles. And it's such a great way to help you feel better and your legs feel a lot better and less tired. Just doing my to-do list and my journal, checking off the stuff I needed to do today. And I've got one thing left to do, and that's my meditation. So I'm just going to finish writing my journal just below it. Then going to have some dinner. Here's my dinner. I got a bit of sweet and sour chicken with some pumpkin and the bean salad I made at lunch and some rice. Finish my 20 minutes of meditation and that's going to be it for this video guys. It really helps me out if you guys like and enjoy the video so please do share it with your friends. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and tell me what you want to see next. See you guys in the next video.